Okay, so I get asked a lot, can you show us your ink collection? Can you talk about your favorite inks? And this is always a really difficult question for me to answer because my favorite inks don't really exist in such a straightforward, concrete manner. Uh, inks for me are very like mood based, probably the majority of why I pick a certain ink is based on my mood. Um, the second factor would be the season um, or what season I am longing for. Like when I get really excited for fall, I start picking out those rusty orange fall colors. Uh, when I'm excited for springs, I, I pick out the yellows and the greens and the bright, brighter colors. So that plays a big role. And then the last thing that does play a big role in what inks I'm using is the pen and the paper. So that combination of the two, um, what determine the inks that I choose. So what, what en ended up actually really helping me make these decisions and kind of talk about these inks was to think of myself. If I had to put everything in storage and move into a van, I would have to like seriously downsize my pen collection, my ink collection. What ones would I keep out? What ones would I be willing to put, dedicate a little space in my van to? Uh, and so thinking along those lines, it helped me narrow, the, narrow it down a bit. So without further ado, let's just ramble about some inks. Uh, I'm gonna do like a quick overview. I have noodlers over here. Noodlers are probably the inks that I really want to love, but I don't. Love the the names are so like creative. The, the labels are really creative. They have a massive color selection and all the colors are absolutely gorgeous, but they're really inconsistent. And so much of my noodlers experience has been feathering and bleed through and it just drives me nuts. Of these Noodler, Noodler's inks, I've enjoyed the Apache Sunset a lot. It's just so fun. <laughs> um, the Sequoia Green has been pretty well behaved and the Black Swan in Australian Roses. Definitely love Robert Oster. Well, super well behaved inks. I love the color selection. I don't like the bottles, that drives me nuts, the bottles. <laughs> They're just plastic, but you know, in, in reality, that actually makes them really easy to travel with because then you don't have to worry about something breaking and they are nice and, and narrow. Diamine inks, those were my first, my first love affair with inks, I think, kind of stemmed with the diamine inks. Uh, and so I have a lot of them. The diamine inks that I go to often are these two. This is the Sherwood Green and the Oxblood. And these are super, super, super pigmented and there is a little bit of sheening. So a nice rich green and a really deep blood red. These are a little bit drier of an ink and they're a little bit tricky to clean out. It takes a lot more flushes <laughs> to clean out a pen with these uh, with those particular inks. Diatramentus, definitely my favorite bottle uh, and also my favorite lid. And I don't know if you can hear that. <laughs> it's a really silly thing, but the cap plastic that they use is like a really, really high dense, high quality, crisp plastic. And I just absolutely love it just has such a nice sound. Whereas all these other, or most of these other ink bottles have like, you know, your typical plastic. That's not anything like to write home about, but the plastic used on these Diatramentus ink bottles just makes me so happy. The Pelican as well. Can you, oof, can you hear that? There's a big difference. <laughs> so yeah, Diatramentus makes my favorite bottles and my favorite lids. I just like the shape a lot. If I had to pick one to take with me, definitely the Indigo Blue. It's just a really nice, stable blue. It's easy to use. It works well in a variety of pens. It's um, 
yeah, I just, I like that blue. And then over here we have some of my Japanese inks. Actually, before we move on, let's just look at the Jairban. These are shimmer inks. They're beautiful. The colors are gorgeous. The shimmering is gorgeous, but I don't like shimmering inks. I actually find them to be mostly kind of boring. And that's because when the shimmer is not there, just they're just kind of like a flat ink. I have a diamond shimmer ink as well. Um, and you have to shake up, obviously, because all that shimmering powder like falls to the bottom. So you have to shake up your fountain pens before you use them. And then again, it's just like adds a little extra time to the cleaning process. It's Japanese inks over here. I really like the Japanese inks. I have a lot of Ir Shizuku. If you are a purple person, I do recommend getting, trying out a bottle of the Shikibu. It is just Shikibu, Shikibu? I don't know. It is just such a vibrant purple. And maybe if I open it up, you can kind of see, like it just glows. It's almost neon, really gorgeous. So if you're looking for like a really wow purple, I, I do recommend that one. Um, the Konpeki is also a really beautiful color that just kind of like pops out and glows a little bit on the paper. Shikurin I have enjoyed, but this one is a little unstable. It kind of, uh, I feel like it's really watery and it doesn't hold its form that well. And sometimes, actually as with the case of a lot of these, like they, I feel like they are, you have to have the right paper and pen combination. Otherwise there's like a little bit of feathering that happens. I actually really enjoy this Pilot Blue. It's just a really basic blue, but it's very, easy to use and it works well in a variety of pens and it's a really nice color. It's also really easy to clean. Okay, so if I had to <laughs> put most of my inks in storage, which ones would I keep with me? I already know off the bat. We have, uh, I think it's Kiro, Kai, Kaio no Oto? No, no, this is Kiro Iro. This is Kaio no Oto. Kiro Iro, Stone Road of Gaion, which is a delightful brown gray, maybe you could even say taupe, super, super shade, shade heavy ink. I really like this ink. It's very nice to work with too. Uh, and then the Yamabukiro yellow, which I just talked about in my last ink video. So I definitely take those two. I would take the Diatrementis Indigo Blue. I might take the Pilot Blue and the Kobe Taisanji Yellow. So I'm gonna put those off to the side because those are like maybes. Um, let's see, I'd probably take Robert Ostercler Chartreuse, Khaki, and Claret. That might actually be it. Maybe Charles Dickens, which is the only one that doesn't have a little sticky swab on the top. I need to do that. Okay, let's just look at the inks that I have chosen to move in the van with me. <laughs> okay, there's, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six definites. And then here are the maybes. I actually added in a an additional maybe. It's a Noodler's ink, the Noodler's Black Swan. I felt like I needed to have a red, a nice red ink represented and it's a really beautiful ink.
Okay, so there we have it. Um, these two are really similar, but I'm very torn between the two of them. This one I feel like I really enjoy more in the, the fall. <laughs> so going back to that, that seasonal decision uh, because it's warmer, whereas this yellow is a little bit more spring-like. There's some green undertones. So just my, <laughs> my opinion. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video.